So if you clicked on the video, you were obviously wondering how to either lose weight or get more in shape. Now, if you're trying to get in shape, go to the second half of the video or this timestamp right here. And for those of you trying to lose weight, for the basic fundamentals of them, there is white fat, brown fat, and beige fat stored in essential, subcutaneous, and visceral reserves. So that is your basic fundamentals. And the first one we will be talking about is beige and brown fat. Quick, very important note, if you're 13 or under, you need to skip the first timestamp or exercise that I guess I'm going over because if this is done unsupervised or really irresponsibly, this can lead to damage or death. So I'm gonna tell you what it is that's dangerous to look out for as soon as I'm done explaining the exercise. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is brown and beige fat. So the way you get rid of this is actually you're going to run in cold temperatures. Now you might be like, well, I got much more exhausted in the hot temperatures, so that's gotta be so much better, but this is not true. So if we start talking about the white fat again, the white fat is the stuff that's visible. So that's what you see on yourself. So that you also got rid of with cardio. So if you do that in the cold temperatures, the brown and beige fat keep you warm. So whenever you're out in the cold, your white fat gets converted into the brown and beige fat, which is also burned by calorie burning. So whenever you run in the cold temperatures, you get rid of that altogether. And a quick little tip, if you start taking cold showers, that also burns a lot of calories after 10 showers. But the thing that was dangerous that I needed to tell you about, you need to look out for a really sudden weird warm sensation. That does not mean take off your jacket. That means that your body is using the last of the energy that it has left at all, the last energy. So you need to find shelter immediately or you're going to fall asleep permanently. This honestly really goes for the most of the people that are trying to get more fat as well as lose weight. But you're going to want to do something called detox. And you might know the basics of it, which is not eating a whole bunch of weird artificial stuff that's really bad for you. But it is also something that you can eat. It's specific things that you can eat and drink for it. And if you guys actually want a recipe for a detox drink, I'll put it down in the comments below. So you can go look at that and try it for yourself. And this is a very, very good method and it will work. But the thing is, this is completely debatable on how bad you want to lose weight because as soon as you start getting bad to your eating habits and you're gonna actually gain a lot more weight, again you're, you're just gonna collect it all back up again so basically it just comes back as soon as you lose it if you don't keep up to it now i actually waited to talk about this one a little bit because if this was the first thing i talked about uh you would have probably clicked off this video because this is not going to make sense if i didn't talk about detox first now if you're trying to lose weight this is going to sound a bit weird but stop holding in your dookie because no i'm not talking about the actual weight of the stuff you need to dispose of when you eat again yeah that might do it but doing this is actually your body's form of detox automatically so if you want to try a minor version of detox stop holding your dookie that that that's the basic way that you get to detox now, for those of you that are just trying to get more overall fitness, and again, if you're trying to lose weight, this is still great for you, but your cardio sessions, not time-wise, but distance are actually probably a lot too long. So what, you wanna, what you're gonna wanna do is, all right, and remember, you can actually do as many reps as you want because you can do cardio as long as you want. But if you think of a number in between zero and 30, all right, start with that, but I'd recommend 20. So you want to run 20 seconds and then you want to walk and jog for 20 seconds and do each process as in run eight times, walk or jog eight times, and then rest two to three minutes. And then you can repeat that reputation as many times as you want. Remember, whenever you're actually running, it's like stretching your lungs, meaning you got more capacity in it. So the more you stretch it out, the more stamina you get, as well as actually using a little bit less in your training. And then whenever you can run the fastest in your practice or your games, um, if you want to keep it a secret, they go and then they ask you, how do you run so long? I train so hard. And then you go. So the last thing I've mentioned, you might have heard of, but this, you need to do something called calisthenics or plyometrics. And yes, 
you might be tired of hearing this because you've seen it on the internet a lot but remember you can be training for body mass strength or you can be training for strength for your overall athleticism so make sure you do that one last thing before the video is over at 100 subscribers i'm doing a cone giveaway and all you need to do is follow the rules on the video that i put in the description and if you have already entered don't worry i did not forget about you have a great night